we're gonna go thrifting. We're gonna do some of the usual stuff. It's gonna be a fun day. You should definitely stick around. Now, hold on. First Goodwill of the day. Pretty excited about this one, but I want you to look at how busy this place is. It's happening. Also, I want to say something about Hannah's new mask. Got a ton of compliments, tons of questions on it yesterday. So I'll drop a link below for where she got it if you want to check it out. It is a, it is a little bit cooler than mine. I mean, <laughs> I like mine, but yours has definitely got a little bit more wow factor. Oh, I think we have something that looks Power Ranger-y. That's pretty sweet. Pretty cool. Let's see what they are. 2017 from uh, the movie. I think they'll do pretty well in Dallas's toy booth. All right, there are a bunch of video games. There's a few here I definitely don't have, so that's pretty cool. But there is a lot of nonsense. Duck Dynasty, lol. True Crime, what are you? Ooh, best game ever. Cool borders. We'll hold on to that. I don't know if I have that. I'm pretty sure I have that one, but we'll see. Narnia. Holy jam packed. These shelves are insane. I don't even I don't even know where to start. It's just too much to look at. It's just it's intense. Look at this picture. It's a big picture. I kinda wanna look at these. Vintage ball. Dang it, that doesn't have its lid. These are super cool. $349, $449. That might be worth it. Um, they're pretty collectible, those older style jars. Might do good in my antique booth. Let's see. It's such a bummer this doesn't have its lid. I think that's fine though. I think I'll still get it if I get this set. I'm gonna keep looking for a minute and then probably double back for them. There is a lot more stuff here than there was the last couple of times we were here. The toys are pretty much stocked to the brim, so that's nice to see. And there is plenty of nerf stuff to look at. I'm gonna think about that one. But I'm almost definitely gonna get this one if the price is right. Ooh, the price is maybe a little high, seven bucks. We'll think about it. Ooh, some vintage cookware. Mm, Magnolite, interesting. It's a bummer this uh, Corning Visions pot doesn't have a lid. The 49 wouldn't have been bad for that if it had a lid. Let's see. Ooh, these are cute. Shocked Goodwill put something in a set. That's a, it's a rarity. A bunch of cute salt and pepper shakers. So nice. I wish that had its pair here. Those look new, but I really like them. Pottery Barn, yeah. Let's see. Little chefies. That's kind of cute, little jewelry dish. I'm sure it's a sugar bowl, but I would use it as a jewelry dish. Look at all these bag toys. There's plenty. Oh man. $6.49. You know what? There's so much in there. We're gonna go ahead and get that. Uh that's not quite worth $5.49. That though. Yeah, definitely not worth $8.49. That's too much. It's all a little high, but. I mean, it's, it's reasonable. Just not really great for resale. Make sure there's nothing else I gotta have. 
I really like to find some more Beyblade today. That'd make that'd make your boy happy. Oh my gosh. Look at these majestic mugs. Look at him. He's amazing. I irrationally want them. I don't need more mugs. Let's be sick. Let's make that very clear. I do not need more mugs. But oh my god, how do I not get that? Okay. Mario 249. I've got a spare controller at home, so let's buy that. We got. I need you to see these. Witness them. Wow. <laughs> Wow! <laughs> what does the other one got? It's the same as the one you have. Oh. Just Never seen that before. Check it. Same. Same. Okay, that was not a terrible first stop. I would say we got a bunch of nonsense, really. Nothing great. Just all little things that we sell in our antique malls. Now, this string of Goodwill that we're going to today is one of my favorite runs to go to. They're all basically just in a straight line, southeast part of town, and this is the second one out of the ones we're going to today. This is the one I'm usually the least excited about, but I don't know, things are pretty good over that last one. So maybe they'll have restocked equally at this one, but let's find out. Lots of super cute things here. These like little 80s canisters, lots of color. Pictures going on. That's kind of cute. A little copper utensil holder, I like that. Some more copper utensil holders. Lots. There's a lot happening right now. Someone playing Fertilise on the piano. Someone looking for dishes. This is a lot. Hmm. I did not expect them to be glass, honestly. They're kind of chipping a little bit. I'm trying to figure out, they're probably bought this way, but I was like, well, maybe they were hand done, but they weren't, they were bought that way for sure. I like a little pet bowl. <laughs> Should I get it for pants? So right now we had to separate food bowls for mochi and pants. Um, so mochi has taken over the regular food bowl and now pants is eating out of a Tupperware bowl because he doesn't care. He's so, he's so chill. But that would be a really sweet gift for him. So he has his own little cute bowl. Okay, I might've talked myself into it. Oh my gosh. That's cute. That's a beautiful little pedestal mug. There's quite a lot of stuff here. They're very well stocked, but I spent quite a bit of time digging through all of it. You can't really find anything else worth getting, except for this your Crayola Wii game that I don't have. These little stacking full plate things are very intriguing. I like those a lot. Those little butterflies are so cute. Fancy. Lots of cool things to look at here, but not a lot that I'm like really interested in getting, but it's got a good selection so far. Not bad. There's a little portable printer here. You know, I have one of these at home, but it doesn't really work well. Hoping maybe I can combine the two or maybe this one just works. I think I'm gonna get it though. So this was a pretty cool find because it's actually a battery powered printer. Now, obviously this one doesn't have a battery sticking out of the back, but I have several batteries for it at home. Uh, the batteries are pretty hard to find, but I've uh, kind of got used to which specific battery it is and I found them at the bin several times. So this should be a perfect printer for our van that we can take on the road and print labels when we're on the go. Who'd have thunk it? A printer with a battery on it. All right, we're at Goodwill number three. This Goodwill usually goes all right. Uh, you don't like this one as much as I do, do you? It's hit or miss for me. Yeah, it is. It's hit or miss for me too, but I don't know. I just like it. I like this one. I've had some luck here. Someone explain. I don't, it's art. We'll leave it at that. It's art. 
the games in this Goodwill are playing like musical shelves because they keep moving around every time I'm here. But there are some games. A lot of this I gotta check to see if I have it or not. Some empty PSP cases. Interesting. Oh, this is probably the cutest tea set. So sweet. But look, it's got a little vendor tag. Probably from one of the antique booths we we sell in. Aw. They're so cute. Holy crap. These Power Ranger guys. There's several of them. I've been wanting to collect at least one set of them. There's a bunch of other stuff in there. I can't, I like, toy soldiers? Are you kidding me? More Power Rangers? All right, and they're $3 a bag. There's a lot of stuff in here I can flip, and then there's some Power Ranger stuff I'm gonna keep. Ooh, this is a brand I like to see. This little picture is the brand Weck. And um, I, on a whim, bought a couple of Weck jars. They were really cute and I had no reason to get them. I just liked the way they looked and they sold pretty quickly. Um, I think this would be a really beautiful like water pitcher to put on a table, but um, it could also be a really beautiful vase as well. Um, but I have a fascination with this brand, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this and it's only a dollar, so that's enough reasoning for me. There's something else that would make a beautiful vase. Um, little pattern on this is really nice but 649 that's just too expensive for me but the thing that catches my eye about it this on the top here says this bottle federal law forbids sale or reuse of this bottle what was in this bottle why here's a collectible this little salt and pepper shakers precious moments I don't know a ton about Precious Moments um, as far as like the figurines and the, the, the little memorabilia that they have, what their resale value is, but I know that these are collectible. And they're two bucks, so we're gonna go ahead and give that salt and pepper shaker a whirl. This is so cute. I love that. If I had a dog, I would buy it right now. If it was a picture of a cat, it sold. All right, I'm actually the most excited about that stuff now. Did you see those bags of toys? Yeah. Got some Power Ranger toys in there for my collection. Those are for me. So we're outside the post office right now because Hannah's got to go in and handle some business at the post office while she does that. So I'm not just sitting here idly. We're going to scoot you guys right over here and I'm going to do some trash life stuff. We're going to look at trash life posts on the Discord. So. Hey, bye. You go ahead, you get the work done. I'll do the fun thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and search for Trash Life on the Discord. Yesterday we looked at a couple Instagram posts. If you wanna participate in that anywhere on social media or over on our Discord, you guys can post uh, your garage sale, thrift store, dumpster diving finds, hashtag Trash Life, and we'll try to look at them here on the channel. Quite a bit been posted on our Discord lately, so check this out. Uh, Joe got all of these Pokemon books at a yard sale today. It's gonna be good. Today's Trash Life is gonna be good because it's Saturday as of shooting. A lot of you guys went to some yard sales. Uh, Akoto got a bunch of PlayStation 1 stuff, which looks great, and a copy of Wii Sports. Good little flip there. You wouldn't believe the price I spent for all this. Hashtag yard sale, hashtag Trash Life. Good yard sale finds, I like that gold controller. You got a Switch though at a yard sale? That might be fine of the day right there. Uh, Will Kid, $40 flea market find. I'm into that. The Walking Dead, are those, uh, yeah. Walking Dead comic book compilations or something. I can't quite read it. It's a little bit too small on my phone. But lots of good 360 stuff. I'm into that. I have, I have all of those games except for, I'm not at all familiar with that Veneto, Venete. I also can't see it. This would be much easier on a laptop, wouldn't it? Uh, Mr. Runyon, $8 pickup, some wrestling games, Resident Evil Greatest Hits, that's awesome, and a PlayStation Underground. And Hannah's coming back. 
need the keys. You need the keys. All right. She's trying to get into our P.O. box. I guess it didn't work out too well. It rained, so James doesn't look like he was able to go to the yard sales, so he went to Goodwill and picked up a VCR quarterback NFL board game. Never seen that before, but I'm into it. <laughs> picked up randomly in my last Trash Life haul. Uh, sold already for $25. That sold for $25. That's one of those things. Every now and then, because we do so much thrifting and we go to so many thrift stores, we will see the most random things. And there's always that one person that's like, oh my gosh, that thing you passed up sells for $30. And it's like, you know, you can only look up so many things. You only have so much time in a day. And I would never have sat there in a Goodwill is what I'm saying and looked up this Chuck E. Cheese greatest hits. I wouldn't have but I would have been dumb for it, I guess, because that's $25, that's wild. That might be most random find of the day. Uh, hashtag Trash Life Part 2 MMA fight pads and tape, all brand new set of white pads. I don't understand what these pads are. Hashtag Trash Life Part 1, uh, some ink cartridges, some Thomas the Tank stuff, and I see some Star Wars stuff there. That's pretty awesome. I'll tell you what though about that Thomas the Tank stuff. Uh, I got a sales report from one of our antique malls for yesterday's sales. Somebody, one person bought $100, like $120 worth of Thomas the Tank stuff. It's funny, you scroll down my sales receipts, and it's just Thomas the Tank, Thomas the Tank, Thomas. So, I don't know if you're selling in antique markets, but if you are, that Thomas the Tank stuff will do well. Uh, today's pickup, all for my collection, very nice. All keepers. I see one of those Atari flashbacks there. It's some goofy Wii games. Some of the, those, I have those Wii games you have there in the bottom middle. I've played those and they're goofy. And then Mandy picked up a bunch of cookbooks. I'm into that. Hannah would really like that. Too bad she's not here. And here's the most random looking Game Boy game I've ever, ever seen. Hannah's walking this way, talking to her camera. So it looks like we had something in the P.O. box. Uh, but I love whatever this is, Amazing Tater. And I found the perfect game for you. Oh, really? Ooh, amazing Tatter? <laughs> amazing Tater! <laughs> amazing Tatter! <laughs> We're changing Hannah's nickname to Hannah the Amazing Tater. I love it. Alright, what did we get? What, what did we get? Excuse me? It's for me. Is it really? It just says Hannah Warrior Princess. Okay, well this is... Uh, Interesting, this is purchased off eBay, so somebody bought you something on eBay. I'm so Oh, excited. okay, I see what's going on. So it's addressed to you and Rose from Guam. So Rose has sent us some package before. Looks like Rose bought you something off eBay. This is so cool. All right, well, I'm left out today, but it's fine. I'm not <laughs> salty or anything, uh, but I'm glad we got some, uh, I'm glad we got a few hashtag trash life finds in and uh we'll keep doing this in the future so make sure that if you buy anything in the yard sale or if you pick up any trash any of any kind there's no parameters here hashtag it hashtag trash life and we'll take a look at it tater you are a tater you know that amazing tater <laughs> all right we're home from the thrift pretty routine day of thrifting three thrift stores and out <laughs> and we got a pretty good amount of stuff. I'd say almost everything I bought, there's a couple games from my collection, but otherwise, almost everything I bought was for our antique malls that we resell at. I don't think we got any eBay finds today. Uh, but I did get a good little stack of games for my collection. Actually, they're all almost all terrible games, but I'm trying to go for some complete collections here, so there's a bunch of stuff that'll be good to put on the shelf. But let's start with some of the stuff you got. Let's just do one thing back and forth. I'll start with this one, this is probably the most specific. Um, this is a vase pitcher thing, but it's by a specific brand, which is Weck. Um, and I've done well with the jars, so I'm gonna try the vase. Interesting, that's not something I'm familiar with. It's cute. Uh, I bought remote control Mario. I actually have another one over on the shelf, just off camera. And it, there's a button on the controller that makes you be able to do the uh, levitation anti-grav thing that is popular in the game. And that mechanism is broken in the one I have. So I'll be uh, tossing that one and uh, either keeping this one or putting it in my toy booth. Uh, I find them a lot. You don't find the controllers as much as you do the Mario Kart, of course, but uh, it'll be nice to have one com complete because it's actually a lot of fun to play with and control. So that's pretty cool to have. What else did you get? 
Um, well, this is kind of for you, but I found them. So. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't think I'll keep them. I have been collecting Power Ranger stuff, and we got some Power Ranger stuff today that's going to be cool to look at. Um, but I don't, I don't really have much interest in collecting stuff from this new movie franchise. Uh, but they are cool as far as the merch from that stuff goes. Uh, these are pretty cool. This one has the Red Ranger on one side, the yellow on the other. And then this one just has the whole squad. Squad. <laughs> that was cool. That was a good find for a dollar piece. Those will probably do okay at our toy booth. I got. Can you guess what this is? A dog bowl. <laughs> for your cats. It's a pants bowl. It's a pants bowl. Is that what we're calling? I do like the double design on it. Blue and white on the outside, orange and white on the inside. That's it's pretty. Cute. Pants will not appreciate the it. Pants will eat food out of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, this is like the third one of these in a couple weeks that I've got, but this Lego stuff is selling really nice in our antique mall, so super happy about that. And he definitely works. And uh, yeah, you can set an alarm on that and everything. I have just recently started collecting mini figs, but I'm not going to collect these giant ones. I'll just keep reselling those. What else? Okay, I got a little set of these vintage ball jars. Three of them, small, yeah. medium, and large. And they're really cool. They're the antique bale wire style. So you got the like lid and then the little the little thingy that goes over and snaps the lid on. This one is missing its lid, but I think that'll be just fine. Yeah. It's got some sort of bicentennial uh, stamp on the reverse side. 1776 to 1976. That's wild. All right. They're old. Yeah. There's three of them. Uh, small, medium, and large. Are you going to put those in your booth as well? Yeah. Going to sell them for a set? Yeah. All right. Well, uh, let's see. Why don't you talk about the rest of these cups? I'm going to go see if I can't find something real quick. These cups are ridiculous. I got the mustache mugs. I think they're so cool. You take a drink and oh, I got a mustache. It's fantastic. Um, I am not going to keep these because I don't need more mugs and let's be serious, I like mugs that are a lot bigger than this because I want to put a lot of coffee in at one time. Um, but I think they'll be fun. I'm just going to pop them in my booth for like five bucks or something. I think someone's going to be like, they're going to like it because it's going to be hilarious. I'm into it. <laughs> well, I went and grabbed this to show it to you. They're, every printer, camera, etc. manufacturer makes their own portable printer. And they have hookups on the back that are battery powered. So this is a Canon one. And I had one of these that was working that I basically took two apart that I found at the bins. But because they show up at the bins, it usually means they took a tumble because of the way that things are usually transferred from one box into another with the Goodwill bins. So I had one of these HP ones and I kept the batteries from it, but the HP one didn't work. So uh, I'm basically going to just throw this away and then... Upgrade. Try to get this, yeah, upgrade and try to get this one to work so we can have a traveling printer. Uh, but it's cool. It's very nice. To, they last a long time on charge. Uh, my buddy, a good friend of mine, actually has one of these. And he, the way he does his reselling, he doesn't do much of it at home. He puts it all in a storage unit. And a couple times a week goes to a storage unit and prints stuff from the back of his car with one of these. Because he only has to charge it every now and then. And it prints quite a bit out. So that's good. Hoping it works. Not going to be able to test it today. But uh, I just thought maybe you'd like to see. I like the form factor of this one better. It's a little lighter and thinner and shorter. It's just all around a little smaller. But this one's busted. This looks to be in good shape. And honestly, I can, I even took the ink cartridges out. And you can hear a little ink sloshing around. So cool. <laughs> maybe maybe it's actually got some ink in it ready to go. But we'll find that out. What else did you get? I got some little Precious Moments salt and pepper shakers. And what is the significance of Precious Moments? Are they both the same thing? No, it's boy and a girl. Oh, okay. Um, they got about the same hairdo. Yeah. Oh, one's what, just wearing one, pink, one's, one's wearing blue. Yeah, one's wearing a dress and one's not. <laughs> All right, you've been buying a lot of salt and pepper shakers lately. Yeah, I'm gonna throw it in my booth. Um, I just know that Precious Moments stuff is collectible. It's, yeah. All right, is, it's nice. is that everything you got? I think so. Okay, so that brings us down to video games and two grab bags full of toys, and then we're gonna open the package that Rose sent us. So let's go through the games first. I'm more excited about those toys, so we'll uh, we'll break those open at the end. Colorful Journey, Crayola game for the Wii, a game I don't have. MLB 09 The Show, a game I don't have. UFC 2009 Undisputed, I had it on PlayStation 3, but not Xbox 360. Big League Sports Summer, Quake 4. 
I'm not sure how many of the Quake games I have, but uh, I definitely didn't have that one. The Outfit, a game that uh, I'm not familiar with, but looked pretty cool. And this is in just absolute mint condition, so that's dope. And then this was just cheap, so I went ahead and grabbed it. I think it'll be an upgrade for the copy I have. That, yeah, I'm pretty sure, because the one I have doesn't have a manual and is, is pretty ugly. So, a little stack of games, just some stuff to put in the collection. Uh, you know, if you're new to this channel, it might interest you to know, you might not care, but there's about 3,000 video games here behind us and countless gaming systems. And a year and a, what are we, a year and a week ago? Yeah. A year and a week ago, we didn't have any of it. This is all from the thrift in the last year. And, uh, I'm just, I'm only bringing that up now, not to brag, but to say, I think we've kind of hit that point where it's going to slow down. Because we did, we did 3,000 games in the first year. I'll be wildly surprised if we do another 3,000 in the second year. Because it's just not coming in as fast, because most of the stuff I buy now, I, I luck across a great game uh, once a week, couple, maybe a couple episodes a week. Uh, but... Otherwise, most days I just bring home stuff like this. So, but I'm I'm happy to, especially when it's in good condition, and especially when there's a couple things I won't mind putting in and playing. I actually played this game when it was pretty new with my little brother. Uh, he was super into this kind of thing. He was really good at it. He beat everybody that would play him. But uh, happy to have that. I might just take that home next time just to play it with him, so he can still smack me. Um, just a bag of Nerf stuff. It's kind of crazy, but there's one, two, there's like five or six scopes in there and a barrel, and a tripod for the Nerf Vulcan. So that was pretty cool. Now, two, grab that bag of toys out of there. Two whole bags, and these bags definitely came into that Goodwill at the same time because they both have kind of the same stuff in them. So I'm gonna go ahead and break it open, just run through what's in them. I think you guys might be excited about some of this stuff. I know I am, at least. Um, and we'll kind of talk about the difference between I can't believe some of the stuff's in here. We'll talk about uh, the difference between some of the stuff that's in here that I'll sell and some of the stuff that I'll keep. So let's start with these little guys. These guys are very specific, but I've sold them in our toy booths a ton. I can bag them up and sell them for a pretty good price or I can individual them and sell them for a, a couple bucks a piece. Uh, but they're from these play sets. You'll kind of recognize them from their feet size, right? There's a lot, you. Uh, I know you. if you go thrifting anywhere, if you go thrifting almost at all, you're gonna see these larger play sets. Like I have the Power Ranger Megazords are the only ones I keep. Hold on. <laughs> He's a light shade. <laughs> He's got an important job. He's back there holding up our light. But uh, so there's the Dragon Zord and it's the same thing. See these guys? There's tons of toys in here. Where'd that Superman go? And they'll just <laughs> pop right in there, right? So there's Superman on the Dragon Zord. Uh, it's way easier to find those. I feel like it's way easier for me at thrift stores to find those big toys, the Megazords. And then, who is this? Uh, yeah, so this is, I actually haven't seen too many that are like this medium size, but that's cool. But there's a bunch of these figures. So I'm gonna sell almost all of them. I uh, like there's a Wolverine. That's pretty cool. Iron Man. And then there's some others that are that size that aren't that set. They're another play set. Um, and there's a few in your bag, too. Go ahead and gather them out of there. Here's a Thor. Different play set, but still same kind of form factor figure. And there's the Joker. And then this bag had two Power Rangers in it. So one of them was the Green Ranger which is awesome because he belongs here. So there, finally the Green Ranger has come home to the Dragon Zord. I'm gonna actually keep these. There's uh, so many in here. Here, let's gather all the Power Ranger ones up at once. That's kind of what I wanna see. So here's a penguin and Bane. That's pretty cool. There's another penguin. Another penguin. Penguin. Who's Batman? We've all, we're gonna get really close to having the whole, I have none of these Power Rangers. I found every one of their Zords individually, and I've personally never found any of the Power Rangers. It's not that they're that hard to find, it's just that they're still newish and kind of popular, so kids are holding on to them. That's uh, all I got. Okay, that's all the Power Rangers. So we've got red, blue, green, and black, and I'm honestly not sure what's up with like which releases had what, but they've got the... I forget in the Power Rangers show what the name of the armor is that the Green Ranger wears all the time and then for random reasons the other Rangers will have from time to time. Uh, 
but two of them have the armor and two don't. I'll have to go look up the original releases to see why and when which came with what, because I do want to collect these. So I'm keeping those Power Ranger ones. The rest of these will get sold in my little toy bin at our antique mall. There's some other nonsense in these bags, though. A rubber duck, a little, I think it's like a little wind up. I don't know what that is. A giant army man. Those are funny. And then, do you know who that is? I don't. He is vintage. Toy Soldiers. You remember that movie? No. It was like Toy Story, but live action. And then it was like in a toy store instead of a kid's home. Oh. We'll have to watch that together. I'm very excited about it. Uh, I'm very, very excited about it. Uh, I would, it's, it's almost something I wouldn't mind collecting. I think that's Rita Repulsa's staff. Oh, I was like, I was hoping it was his because he's missing his, but yeah, it's no, not. I'm pretty sure it's Rita's or something. It may, it may be something else completely, but uh, yeah. And then almost everything else in this bag, just way more of these figures. Dr. Freeze, another Batman. Hulk is in here. Don't touch these gummy guys. They're... These are weird. Some gummy army men. Mm -mm. <laughs> and then there's a dinosaur in here. But yeah, there's just so many of these little things. Let's pile them all up so you can see them all at once. Got so many duplicates. You know, I don't, I've never tried to sell these on eBay. I wouldn't be surprised if you could sell these for a lot and do okay, because these are popular. I remember the first time I put some in a toy bin, they sold out instantly. I think the one person bought them all just because they were so excited to see so many in one place. There's just, that's it. That's a haul right there. And the best thing about these, as I was trying to explain, though I maybe didn't make it the most clear, it's very easy to attain small and large additions to this place. Almost every one of these figures will fit on that Dragon Zord I just had, will fit on here, and then there's these, there's these, there's like, I see one every day at the Goodwills. I probably should have paid more attention to pointing one out today, but there's these giant like Bat Cave play sets and Joker play sets. Yeah. I see them at the Thrift Daily and they're great for kids because all these toys are compatible with them. They all lock in the same way. It's kind of like, you know, it's like Legos, but not swallow, not like too small for kids to play with size. You know what I mean? So that's everything we got at the Thrift. Let's talk about favorite things real quick. What's your favorite thing you picked up at the thrift store? I don't know. I got so many good things. I'm very excited about this. <laughs> this is just me as a person. <laughs> that's funny. Uh, my favorite thing, definitely. I'm happy about the Mario, but I'm excited about this bag of toys. Uh, just because I kind of fall in and out of my interest of Power Rangers collecting, but some of you guys sent us some really cool Power Ranger stuff, and I got pumped about it again, so I'm happy to throw those things on the shelf. And it'll be kind of fun to, like, uh, search out the other two or three from the set I'm missing. That'll be fun. Um... Also, I have the Zords for all these guys. I have the Mega Zord, or I have the Zords for all of them. So I'll be able to just pop them in their Zords now. So that's cool. So definitely favorite for me. You guys comment below before we move on to this package. What's your favorite thing that we picked up at the thrift store? Anything you're excited about? Any of those games you're excited about? I guess let me know if I definitely have to play that Crayola game. I don't know. Okay, hold on to this. We have a package to open. This is from Rose, but she didn't send it straight away from herself. She ordered us something, or she ordered Hannah something on eBay. I keep saying it's it's for me, but it's not. I can't Here. fathom what it could be. I can't either. I'm gonna get it open, and then you're gonna get to stick your hand in there. All right, there's a note. No, it's just a name. Okay. Oh, I was like, how close is that your a eyes. Note? <laughs> close your eyes. I know what it is. Am I gonna like it? Yes, you are. Dig into this box, pull it out. Ooh, packing peanuts. There's a soft you're, thing. Yes, you're gonna lose your mind. Show the camera, let me show the camera before you open your eyes. It's you, a plushie? Yes it is, but it's a very special plushie. It's got arms. Open your eyeballs. <gasps> you tell them how much you like Sackboy, I'm gonna go grab oh some. Oh my gosh, I love Little Big Planet. It's my favorite game ever. And I make Dallas play it with me because I, <laughs> As of yet, this has been the only Sackboy toy, only little big planet toy that we have, so. I love, I love dressing him up, and then I, it's my favorite thing ever that I didn't tell him whenever we started playing, that you could move their arms, and you could put a frying pan in their hand, and then you could smack them. Yep, so we don't really play that game as much as we do just smack each other. That's pretty cool, though. You now have a uh, Sackboy collection. Is that his name, Sackboy or Sackperson? 
sack boy, but yeah. I like to be politically correct. Sack person. All right, sack well. Person. He zips. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> well, that's Hannah's favorite thing Aww. of the day. Thank you, Rose. Thank you, Rose, very much. It is it is great. And he's kind of like Christmassy, so yeah. we, we've been at, we've talked about this a ton. We'd never really have done a Christmas tree, but because we have the channel this year and, uh, you know, we do what we do, we're going to have to, we might just have to do like a sack boy. A little big planet Christmas tree, you think? Aww, we should. Well, we have been amassing a lot of ornaments. Some of you guys have sent us some, and we pick some up at the store, but he might have to be like a tree topper, I'm thinking. Yeah. All right. That's awesome. I just threw him on the floor. I'm sorry. He's not dirty. Don't be mad. <laughs> All right. threw him on the ground. We're going to wrap this video up. Thanks for hanging out with us, guys. Uh, come back tomorrow, because we do post daily videos here on this channel. So come back. Go to the thrift store with us tomorrow. Hang out with us. See what nonsense we buy. Because we bought some nonsense today, that is for sure. And uh, also, before we go, do me another huge favor. Check out our merch store, tinnostrash.com. We've got a bunch of t-shirts, and uh, we sold a, ha a huge handful of t-shirts of our new merch line, our hashtag Trash Life merch line. And also, uh, we just sold our first Trash Life hoodie, so that'll be going out tomorrow. So that's pretty awesome. So go check that stuff out. Just put your eyeballs on it, see what we're selling. And also before we go, do me a favor, consider checking out our public Discord. Now when we do the hashtag Trash Life thing and look at some of the things that you guys have posted, we're kind of doing different stuff every day. So we did Instagram yesterday. I checked out what was on the Discord today. And if you've been posting, I appreciate it. If you've been posting and haven't shown up on a video yet, just keep posting your finds. Uh, we're trying to find a good way to fit this segment into our videos that is most comfortable for us. So we'll be doing a lot of it in the weeks to come. So share your stuff on social media, hashtag it, hashtag trash life. It'll get in front of our eyeballs, I swear. It's gonna be it. Now, we've got a hard job in front of us putting all this stuff away. Here, let's, see if, so let's see if we much. can show them without making a big mess. There's so much on this table that's, right now. That's a lot of nonsense, but guys, come back tomorrow, hang out with us tomorrow, and until then, peace out. <laughs>